everybody, this is Angie, Treasured Vintage. Today I'd like to show you some of my Trafari. It's not really a collection, but it's just all of my Trafari pieces amassed together. And first I'm gonna start with the brooches. So I've got quite a few, most of them are gold tone. I would say from uh, mid-century to uh, early to later. This one is really nice, modernist feel to it, a newer one. And I also have pendants in here and some stick pins. This one is a Pisces, I believe, with the fish. I love that design. I'm not so much a Zodiac person, but I do love the intaglio glass and the um, open work around that pendant. That's beautiful. Of course, I love my enamels. And here is a small 80s enamel pin with rhinestones. This is one I really like because it has a little tassel on it. And it's small, it's pretty. I can see that on a lapel, that's very nice. Let's do a silver one this time. I have this one. It's got the two textures and a nice swirly pattern. You see Trafari stands the test of time also, as well as Monet, so I like that. Probably like that uh, Trafari after Monet and then probably Napier after that. Or Napier and Trafari run a, run a close uh, second. Trafari is very nice though. I mean, they are very, really quality jewelry. Of course, we have a leaf. Leaves were so popular. So many leaves, so many different ones. Open work and realistic and stylistic and um, just all kinds of leaves. This one almost looks like Monet. Why is that in here? Is that a Trafari? Yeah, it is. It's a Trafari. I think I have earrings to match this. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. And this one, I like this one. It's just a stylized V or something. And the pin bar is here, so would you wear it like that, perhaps? I like the texture on it. That's broken lines with all the uh, mill grain in it. Bumpy surface. Very cool. Of course, we have a a nice circle pin. It's a nice one with the texture in the middle. Smooth out around the edges. I do think this one's an older one. It is with the crown over the T, so I believe this is probably 50s, 60s. This one I like. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, abstract. It's cool. Reminds me of a strawberry, but it's not a strawberry. <laughs> These just look like little seeds to me. I don't know why. Just strawberry seeds on a ribbon or something. So this one is cute too. I like that texture. I don't know how I got so many Trafari pins, but I'm just... I've just saved them. I don't know why. Probably because the quality is so nice. Another Zodiac. I don't know which one this is. I think it's a Zodiac. Oh, okay. It's Libra. Um, I feel like that's probably, that's possibly a 70s, 80s pin. This one looks older to me. Maybe 60s. But Let's see. Mm. Wait, is that Napier? 
Oh, that's in the wrong box. This should be in my Napier box. Hmm. That's what happens when you get different collections going. Sometimes they get, you just set them aside knowing that you want to put it in one of your boxes, one of your special boxes, and it gets in the wrong special box. That's how you know you have too many special boxes. <laughs> Here's another older circle pin, very nicely made. Just simple and nice. It's a simple, nice one. This one still has the nice tag on it. I really like when they still have their tags on. In a way, it's kind of sad because that means that, you know, maybe somebody either bought it or got it as a gift and never wore it. Wore it? Wore it. <laughs> Which kind of is sad to me. Of course, I'm not wearing it either. I still have it in a box, so. Bad on me. Another circle pin. It's kind of has uh, curled leaves on it. And I'm going to show you some stick pins the silver tone variety. We have an owl. We have some stylized birds. And this is not a stick pin, but it's a leaf pin. Really nice one. Kind of got that antique finish to it. I better start looking on the back of these that that they are truly Trafari that I'm not showing you something different. See, this when ones look a little different from the others, I'm tempted to look and make sure it's, it is Trafari, and I don't even see a mark on this one. Now, that's just not right. Oh, it's there. It's there. It was hiding under the bar. It's right here. Okay. Have a nice Trafari butterfly. This one's cool. This one's pretty. Coming to the end of the brooches. Got about six or seven more. And then we will do necklaces. Here is a pretty leaf. Another one with a tag on it. I have to research these tags, see which one's older. I have a feeling, uh, I have a feeling this one's oldest. Reminds me of a cube. And we have this. This is really cute. I love this. It's a John Quill or a daffodil. Very, very cute. It's one of my favorite spring flowers. We have these stick pins. This goes like that. This one. We have an M. We have a dogwood blossom. This one's cool. I love this. It's like a button with thread. And we have a pansy type of a pin. I think this one's kind of common. I don't know what makes me say that. I think I've seen it before. There's another dogwood. Oh, I've got two dogwood pins, huh? Yes, I do. Got two of those. And this is really pretty. I love the look of that. Well, that's really um, fancy, I guess. So that's all the brooches I have. I have to remember to put that one in my Napier box because that's out of 
out of order there. It's the wrong place. It's misplaced. Let's brush those to the side. Let's look at the necklaces. I do have some cool necklaces. Some of them are just beaded. Um, a lot of them are just beaded, actually. But And, there, and then there's bracelets in there, too. But even the beaded ones uh, have something to be said for them. They're a very nice quality. Uh, look how that just gleams. You know, it's really nice. Nice quality. Sounds sounds nice. Whoops. My janky tripod. Um, this one is probably newer. Um, I, in fact, I just noticed that I had this the other day, and then I decided to actually do the Trafari collection, or I'm, I'm just calling it a collection, but it's not a collection, because I'm not really collecting it. <laughs> I just have it all in one place, so it's kind of like collected in one area. And here is a cool bracelet. It's kind of pretty. It feels good. It's really nicely uh, woven. It's tightly woven. I feel like it, it could go well with that, maybe. Well, it's not exactly the same. I think there's a big brooch. I lied about being done with the brooches. There was a big brooch in there that didn't fit in my box. I mean, that's a, that's a honking brooch. So it is trafari too, but that's a big one. Wear that with the big padded shoulders. Here's a really nice um, necklace that has this extra piece on it. I remember that I had gotten this necklace part before, just the chain with this on it, and I was missing this. And I always wondered when, what went on this until I actually got the way it was supposed to go. And I think it looks great. It's really nice. And here's another beautiful. Oh wait, hold it. Stop the process. I think. <laughs> ah. Yeah, that's right. What I did before I got this one is I had this. And then I found this other pendant. And I stuck it on there. And I'm like, that is perfect. But really, it's not perfect, perfect. Because this is perfect. This is the actual one that goes on there. Gerald sent me this. It's gorgeous. I love it. Pretty sure he sent me this one. Um, yeah. So that that really goes well. But this this actually does too, surprisingly. Surprisingly, that lays in there nice. And uh, you wouldn't probably know that that didn't go together. Yeah. So I'm just going to say, yeah, two necklaces. Let's see. This is Trafari. It almost looks, you know, very much like a Monet bracelet. Um but it has the Trafari in there with the size. This is very old. And I had this in my Etsy shop for a long time. I finally just took it out and put it in my collection. <laughs> um, but I believe at one time this was probably, I wanna say, I wanna say it might've been pearls and then the stuff came off of them, but I am not sure. It might've just been like this too. I'm not, for sure about it but it's a choker and it's pretty small and um it's 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 might be the oldest piece I have it's pretty old it's got a very nice uh clasp on it not sure if it's missing anything on the clasp or not can't remember I think it is clasp is really pretty and the beads are really weighty glass and um, very feminine but it's really short I want to say it's it's maybe 14 or 
I don't know. This is cool. Very cool 80s. Very cool 80s necklace. Love the color of that, the shape of it. And this is this is really old too. Probably 60s. It does show somewhere, but isn't that cool? Red and white. It's not too bad, really. It's not. It's, I've seen a lot worse um, of the white chains. You know, all the wear on the white chains. Some of them are just too far gone. This one is not bad, really. So that's an old one. That's cool. You keep that in the bag so it doesn't get further. And try to keep that one nice. I would probably keep that because just because it's so cool. And this one, look how neat. This one you've probably seen. Um, I think this one is kind of, kind of maybe common. I'm not sure. It's, um, it is missing a couple of the beads. There's one, probably one on each side here. But it is symmetrical now because I think I ended up taking one of the beads off. But that's really a neat necklace. I love that. Someone gifted that to me also. I love it. I love purple. And I just watched uh, Perla. Perla is precious. Uh, I just watched her live, which I missed. I missed it live. And every time I see purple, I think of her. She's the purplest person I know. <laughs> Loves the purple. And this is... Uh, different. This is one of these Aloxal aluminum uh, necklaces, uh, chokers, but it's really nice. It's really pretty. Another short one. Um, this one's actually made in France for Trafari. It's very nice. Very nice looking and lightweight. Here's another small Jafari bangle. This is different. Got these little discs. Now, they're meant to have white enamel on them, but some of them are worn off. But it's another cool one. Early 60s, maybe 50s. This is very pretty. Look at this soft pink shaded colors. A newer one with the T hang tag. And I love the colors of that. It's so feminine looking. And this one, I like it a lot too. I just like the color of it. color of it's really pretty. Kind of like a periwinkle, a deep, deep periwinkle blue. And just a long, a long chain, a long textured chain. It's really long. Um, it's one you could, it's probably 54 inches at least. It's one you can double up. Very, um, very uh, versatile. So that does it for my necklaces and my bracelets. Well, I have one more bracelet. Very thin, thin one here. It still has the tag on it. 450 back in the day. This little squarish one. Now we have the earrings, which I have a good many of. So I don't know if I'll get through all the earrings or not. Oh, there's a necklace in there. This necklace was actually mine. So I guess there's a kind of a mix in here of necklaces, earrings, maybe chokers. I, I see a bracelet. So it's all mixed up. <laughs> um, these are very cute. And that, I wonder if that goes with this. 
I bet it does. I bet that's a set or came from the same collection. Um, that would be nice. I'm going to keep that together. Um, but this was mine back in the 80s. Um, I remember buying this at a at the mall. And uh, I wore that. It's really cute. One of my very own pieces from my office days. Here's a pretty bracelet. Pretty Trafari bracelet. Oh, so pretty, these earrings. Oh, they're gorgeous. Uh, where's the other one? There we go. Oh, aren't these pretty? Wow. They really remind me of Monet. Look at the sparkle on them. Very elegant clips. We have a, and I don't know what's up this color. It must have been really, really into neutrals at the time because it's kind of a mushroomy gray color. Uh, I think they make Toyotas in this color these days. <laughs> uh, but it's, it's a chevron type enamel necklace. And it's nice. I'm just not, I don't know about the color for a necklace. It's not something you see every day, put it that way. Just not used to seeing the gray enamel. Maybe that's what somebody would like about it. Make it that would make it cool for somebody. Some clip earrings. A pretty silver choker. A really nice links on it. Really diff different type like paper clip type links, but I think I tried to wear this. It's really, really short. I don't know why they have to make them so short. They do. This is very old. This is cool. This has got uh, acorns on it and leaves. And this might be my oldest piece. Now come to think of it, this is pretty old. That's a really neat bracelet, and it's in nice, pretty nice condition for its age. I mean, it does have some wear on it, but I would still wear it. I mean, I think you could still wear it. We have some white clip earrings. We have these cool ones with the Omega backs. We have these that are very cute. Little tiny floral ones. Aren't they cute? Yeah, they're really they're really cute. Um, and these tiny floral ones. Little tiny flowers. Very dainty. That was one section of earrings there. Now oh, you see what I mean about these strawberries? Hey, maybe that pin goes with these. Oops, wrong one. Where's the other one like this? Huh. Where's the other one like this? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Here we go. Now, let me look at that pin. Yeah, I'll keep these together. Is that, does that go together? I bet it does. Well, that's nice. I'm glad I got this out and did it because now I have some things that, you know, I could sell that together. It'd be better. If I ever sell it, <laughs> sell my Trafari. That's the plan. Those are cute. Cute flowers. These. Come on. 
try to hurry now because I'm almost 25 minutes. Got those. I guess I could do part two. These are pretty. They're just simple. I like those. So I think that's what I'll do uh, to be continued because uh, I have enough to make another little video plus I, maybe I'll add something to the other video. But um, y'all have a blessed day and uh, it was nice to be on again and I will see y'all next time. Bye for now.